and welcome back to another video. So, not yesterday, but the day before. Well, I'm pre-recording this, but uh, as this comes out, not yesterday, but the day before, I did a uh, review on the Tinker's Construct add-on for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Uh, and I've done a little bit cleaning up over there from like previous ones, but I've not cleaned this area up yet because it's a bit of a bigger job. Anyway, um, and it, uh, I was going to tag this on to the end of the uh, review, but I thought it would be the review went on for almost four hours in total. So I thought I would just uh, uh, have this as an entirely separate thing. So here we have. Uh, um, a tier list of like the best uh, handles and pickaxe heads, well, heads for axes, pickaxes, and shows, shows, showels, showels. Um, going from best to worst, and I've also done it for the swords, um, cleavers, and daggers over here. And if they release like more weapons or more. Uh, metals and alloys and stuff, I will be uploading a video where basically I add them into this. So I've separated these out into uh, four, tier, four tiers. So the, you know, uh, which are just the tiers that are in the book. So let's go from, you know, this, the bottom real quick. So first, at the bottom here, we have uh, three different handles. So, but, so I'll go over which one go over them and explain why I think they're the best. So the best is bone, the stone's okay rod and wood's the worst rod handle, whatever you want to call it. And you can just basically see this from like, uh, so the green is the mining, uh, is the durability, the blue at the top is the uh, mining speed, uh, and you don't really care about attack damage with picks, so yeah, it just it has a little bit less uh, durability, but it mines a bit good bit fast a bit faster than the stone one, so I decided to put that one there because I like it to be a little bit faster. And it's uh stone pickaxe, you don't really care that much about the durability on it really. Uh and uh, and yeah, the wood just has the least amount of durability and is not the slowest. It's slightly very slightly faster than the uh, stone handle, but it just uh, have less durability, so I just gonna. I'd rather have a little, that little bit more durability for that, for just that small amount of like literally two, twelve, seventeen point seventeen more speed. So yeah, um, and none of like the secondary abilities really matter all that much with these. Those are the abilities they have, uh, like, mostly for, like, weapon, uh, mostly, like, weapon stuff. Uh, and we have the stone pickaxe head, the bone pickaxe head, and the wooden pickaxe head. As you can see here, it just has uh, the most durability and uh, the most speed out of the other two. Yeah. So, yeah. Stone is the best head. And bone is the best rod early game. So if you can get to a skeleton killed early game, that's going to be good for you. Or if you kill a fish, fish drops, like fish, like cod and salmon, they drop bones in Bedrock Edition. So you can get that off them. Now, I... Re Hold on. Tink. I'm going to put in tinkerers, and this gives me all the tinkerers, I tinkering items. And here we go, books. I'm just going to grab these two, just in case I forget the names. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to forget the names of some of these. So, let's start off with the rods. Uh, because the, the, well, the handles. The handles don't get named, the heads get named. Well, actually, let's start off with the heads, then. So, we've got the best uh, in the second class is Pig Iron for the head. Second best is iron. Oh, uh, the iron brought that to me. Okay. And then rose gold head. And then a gold head. And if we just look here, 
725 durability with 21 speed. And they all, all of these have the same handle, so the only difference is the head. So it's faster, has more durability than the iron, and yeah, it's pretty... Yeah, uh, it does have a... Uh, the Rose Gold does have a good bit more speed than the iron. Uh, and a little bit more than... A ten more than the... Uh, Pig iron, but that durability is just awful. You're going to be repairing it a lot, and yeah, yeah, it's just going to slow you down, it really. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's better than gold. That like gold is only a little bit faster, but has a good bit less durability. Uh, the only reason you might you might want to use a go rose gold pickaxe is for experienced. Maybe? I don't know. But I, I really just don't think it's that good of a, uh, you know, uh, and that, you know, I don't really think it's that good to really make it better than like, Iron, which has Magnetic, which I think is slightly better than Experience, but I'm not also a super big fan of Magnetic either. And Tasty is fine. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you're not going to use up your hunger, apparently, or something like that. I think I said it, you don't use up your hunger, but I don't think it worked for me. Yeah, it didn't really work for me in the uh, review, so uh, maybe I just missed something. And then for the handles, so best, uh, well, yeah, it's just the same there. Uh, best handle is gold. And I think that's rose gold. I oh, know that's pig iron. I think, pretty sure. Yeah, Tasty Pig Iron, Iron, and Rose Gold. Now, the only reason why I say gold is the best handle is because it doesn't have as much uh, effect on durability. It is like 500 less than Pig Iron, which, it, which yeah, I could see why you'd want that. But the speed is almost double that of Pig Iron. So I think it's kind of worth having the gold handle is, handle for the extra speed, but I I could see why you might not want it for it well, because there is only seven hundred and twenty-five durability. So pig iron, uh, just a pure pig iron pickaxe is also um, pretty good for this um, tier, and then you have the Iron handle, which is a bit less, it just has a bit less durability than pig iron. But if you want, if you if you pre prefer the magnetic, if you want the extra magnetic, then I could also see you using iron. The only one I really can't see you use pig iron, pig iron, pig iron. I mean, I accidentally made two pig iron pickaxes instead of a rose quartz. Rose gold. Pig iron. Pig iron. Oh, I know. It's the handle. Yeah. Sorry, brain fire. I forgot it. The handle doesn't change the name yet. And then there's rose quartz. It just gives you experience and you have a little bit more durability than uh, than gold, but the speed is just a little bit better, so I don't really think it's worth it, in my opinion. Again, this is mostly my opinion, and of course you can use any anyone you want if it, if one has, like, if like one material catches your eye for whatever reason, uh, but the main rule you have to think about when doing this is the head. You got all you have with pickaxes and axes and that shows with the heads. You just got to worry about durability and mining speed. With the handles, you don't have to worry about that. So well, not durability and mining speed, durability and mining levels. So like diamond and neverite and iron and wood and stone. That's what you gotta worry about with the heads, because that's the main thing. And then the handles, you can pick whichever. The handles aren't as important. Um, they can just like be, you know, be whichever you, one you want if you want. This is just my. The handles are just really my more personal opinion. The heads are pretty much definitive though, because there's. and the blades. Same for with like the blades. Because there's not really much wiggle room uh, for them to be in, uh, for like the, uh, 
you know, abilities to really come into play that much. To make it, more, you know, what I mean. So up here we have diamond, which is duh, diamond, you know. Uh, and yeah, it's just pure diamond. Pure diamond is the best, really, in this tier, because it's like almost 5,000 durability and almost 20 mining speed, like 19.5 mining speed. Uh, then you have Ardite Pickaxe that has 18,000, 18,869 durability and 20.8 mining speed. So it is a little bit faster. But it's just less than half durability of the diamond one, and it's just like, mm. You do get auto smelting, which is nice, but you're probably also going to be just sticking that into the smeltery anyway, so it's going to get smelted up either way. Then we have the gem steel pickaxe, which um, has 3,887, which is a lot more durability. Slime steel, yeah, it has a lot more durability than Ardite. But its ability doesn't really help much, that's why I put the Ardite above it. And the mining speed is a bit is a fair bit slower, so... Combined with like Ardite just uh, smelt, combined with Ardite smeltery and uh, faster mining speed, I put it a little bit higher than Slime steel. But these two are pretty interchangeable. Oh, oh, and also Ardite's never right. Uh, harvest here, so yeah, that's pretty good. As that's also put up above uh, slime steel, but they're mostly interchangeable. Like if you just you could go with a slime steel pickaxe uh, if you just want more durability and don't care that's a bit slower and that's only and diamond. And you've got cobalt, which less durability, a little bit faster than the slime steel. Again, these two are pretty much interchangeable. And we have Amethyst uh, Bronze Pickaxe, which only upside to this really is uh, Soulbound, which is which is nice. Like I will admit, that it is one of the better things, and it has a little bit. Again, I would have this like interchangeable with Cobalt and Slime Steel, but yeah, yeah, obviously like Diamond. I mean the best. Hello. So yeah, and of course, we're moving on to the rods. So now I have to remember which well, handles. Right now I have to remember which one of these handles is which. So, uh, so obviously that's pure diamond pickaxe. Um, and then so the next next handle is. Soulbound, so it's the uh, Amethyst Bronze handle. Uh, you do have a lot less durability, but still, 2,944 durability is not bad. It's better than uh, having it as a pickaxe head. Uh, but you don't have a ton of mining speed either, not as much as uh, having the Amethyst pickaxe head or the Diamond pickaxe head. But it is also soul bound, so I would probably put that solid, solid second. Cause the other handles don't really have that good abilities. Like smeltery, yeah, that's pretty good. It's a bit faster and less durability. And this one has more durability, but it's slower, and you don't that ability is not very good. And yeah. This has a bit more dur- oh, swap these two around, because it has more durability, and Killager isn't really good on a pick, it doesn't really do anything on a pickaxe, unless it's that, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to swap those two around real quick on this. There we go. So, yeah. Uh, and of course you can always like mix and match with these. If you have like a rod with that from like one category that you really like with that, with a head from another category. 
you can obviously like mix mix and match. And then here, let's do pickaxe heads first. I was a little bit surprised when I got here because I thought Neverite was going to be the like, would just end up being the best pickaxe, you know, just pure Neverite, but apparently no. So the best head is Queen Slime Pickaxe Head. It has 5,775 durability. That's more, more than a pure diamond pickaxe with 16.8 mining speed. That's just a little bit less than a pure diamond again. again. Uh, and you don't really care about guard or bounce. So it's never right here. Obviously. And then you have ne never right head. It's got a little bit less durability. Mine's a bit faster though. So I could definitely see why you might want to swap those two. Use a never right over the uh, queen slime. But, you know, guard. Uh, you're not really going to be using that. It's never right here. It has more attack damage. Anyway, uh, then we have the Manulian pickaxe, which has 4,375 of durability and 18.2 mining speed, which is about, which is a bit like a bit. Uh, I wouldn't use it over in either of these two, but it is like a bit of a midpoint if you like, if you don't like uh, the Queen Slime as a. Uh, um, slower mining speed. You want it to be a bit faster, but and you're not, to, and you don't mind having a little bit less durability than the Neverite pickaxe. I guess you could see it there, but it's like a bit of a mix between those two, like midway point between those two. And then you have the one, the metal that I really ha hate having three hepas, hepatize, hepata, hepatize on the pickaxe. 3,412 of a durability, 22.4 mining speed. So it's as fast as a never right pickaxe, but it has less durability than everything on here, so I won't really use this over anything else in this list. And now we're on to the, uh, uh, onto the handles. So the handles are as goes, um, Neverite, which, you know, gives you uh, that pickaxe that we've seen before. Then it's the, um, uh, what's the green one? Yeah, green. Did I miss an entire metal out on this? Hold on. Blah blah blah. Skip through all this. We should uh Oh no, green is queen slime, yes. Oh yeah, I should have realized because it's only got bounce, silly me. Yeah. No, just a bit of rain fire there. Yeah, just queen qu queen slime handle, little bit less bit less durability and slower mining speed. Uh then you have the Floaty one, which is Hepatizon handle. You see, 3465 with 13, so bit less durability, a little bit faster faster mining speed than Green Slime. And remember, we're going from best to, on the left to worst on the right. Um, and Queen, and then you have the, uh, the uh, Manulian. Which is 3,300 uh, durability with 12.6 mining speed. So yeah. And I don't really think the, yeah, bounce, float, plunder, yeah, you don't really you, uh, use any of these uh, abilities during mining. They're more combat abilities, so it doesn't really matter. Probably talk more about them when we get over to here. So we have the stone handle, the bone handle, and the wood handle. Uh, not handle, guard. So yeah, the uh, sword guard, not handle. You don't use the uh, what, whatever they're called. 
in this and it's just like yeah um just most this has the most durability with two attack damage yes it 238 to durability to attack damage 219 durability to attack damage and 219 the durability with two attack damage and obviously um these you know these are pretty much uh, um the their abilities pretty much don't really matter much like the uh, uh summon the undead yeah the undead one is kind of nice because he can uh, you basically turn them into skeletons which you can you kill to get bones but i'd rather fight a zombie than a skeleton well maybe if you like if you got like a mob farm and you want to uh, turn the zombies into skeletons you know, you got found mob spawner, but you don't want a zombie mob spawner, you want skeletons, so you could turn them into skeletons using that. But yeah. And it's stone stone blade, bone blade, wood blade. Um Yeah. Also, I had to do a lot of work with this because I basically had to um, uh, compare each one because there was nowhere in like any of the books that told me like what all like the guards and the blades uh, attributes were. So I had to uh, basically just craft each one of each one with the same like blade, each one with like one handle with the same blade, and each one with the same uh, handle but with different blades to like figure out which one was good. So yeah, stone, stone blade again. Uh, the traits don't really matter, but yeah, two nineteen, nineteen uh, durability with two attack damage, two seventy five durability with two attack damage, and ninety six with yeah, two attack damage. So yeah, so the best uh, uh, early game from that sword would be a just a basic stone sword, I guess. Full stone sword. Like this one. Oh hey, I've. Anyway, uh, I'll be right back. I gotta go juice. Uh, get something to eat, and then I'll continue on with this. All right, so it's been a hot uh, minute because. A few things happened, and now I'm back. Oh yeah, we're doing swords. Right. So, uh, on to tier 2 swords. So, we got pig iron, iron, rose gold, and gold. So yeah, 128 durability, 5 attack, 7... 798 durability with 4 attack. Oh, hold on, I got. I'll take this. Okay, now if I could just not be interrupted again, that would be nice. Yeah, uh, where was I? Yeah, pig iron. 12, 1218 uh, durability, 5 of a damage. 798 and um, 4 attack damage. Yeah, um, yeah the iron uh, blade is much weaker. Like. Way less durability and a bit less attack. Uh, then you have uh, Rose Gold, which, yeah, even less durability and half the attack of an iron sword. Like, yeah. And Gold is just less durability than Rose Gold, so yeah. And unless you want to get as much experience out of a mob farm as you can, I would not recommend Rose Gold or Gold at all. Where's gold at all? And you re just don't recommend gold at all. And iron is all right, but uh, yeah, pig iron is uh, really what you what you want to make in this tier. And then for the handles, we got to, uh, uh, yeah, that's uh, pig iron. Then the uh, rose gold, iron, and gold. 
Because while Rose Gold does have a little bit less durability, about 300 less durability, uh, the extra experience if you get a Mendel Knight is fine, and they're both 5 attack damage. So having a Rose Gold handles not really too bad. Uh, so yeah, I would recommend the uh, Rose Gold if you, you know, if you can if you can get mending on it, it would be really good. Um, and you know, a bit of extra experience on killing mobs doesn't really hit. Uh, and it's n and it's not that much less than an durability than an Iron Sword, and the same attack damage. And again, Gold's at the bottom because it's just low durability, and has one less attack damage than. All the others, so yeah. Next up, we have this tier, which which is really just diamond tier. And yeah, diamond sword, eight attack damage, four thousand seven hundred and eighty four durability. Uh, then if we've got Slime Steel, which is 3,887 durability, 7 attack damage. Uh, Ardite Sword, 1,869 durability, 10 attack damage. So, it, again, if you got Medin, it would I'd probably uh, bump this up to the top, but to, I'm just uh, judging these mostly on their own. And, uh, get, and, uh, um... That 10 attack damage is nice, and I did bump it up above uh, the Cobalt Sword, which has more durability but less damage, because if you're doing about to double the amount of damage, then you're saving about, you know, half the durability. So, yeah, and if you get this enchanted with, like, Sharpness, right, you can just one-shot everything that's, uh, you know, regular mob, like, because the only thing that will have more health that like, you can one-shot. Be like Iron Golems, River Boss, and the, the the Ender Dragon. Oh, and Endermen. Endermen will two you can two shot them, I believe, because they have forty each. If I remember, I can't. Uh, I'm pretty sure. And the uh, yeah, smelting. Yeah, not really a um, super good uh, um, ability or whatever you want to call it. Trait. Yeah, it says right there. Trait. Anyway. Um, Pillager, a few extra em emeralds from killing pillagers is nice, but it's a bit uh, niche and not really worth putting above that. And then you have the Amethyst, uh, Amethyst Bronze Blade, which, yeah, Soulbound is nice, but for attack damage, not so nice. Alright, let's get on to the guards. Boom, boom, boom. So you got the um, oh, copper, the um, what is it called again? The uh, amethyst bronze guard because it uh, it does it has a two thousand nine hundred and forty four durability, which is a bit less, to well, a, fit, a good bit less than. The, the diamond one, but still that's decent, especially if you get some mending on it. And it does 6 attack damage, which is a little bit less than the diamond sword, but soulbound is nice, especially if you, like, die, uh, then you're, then, like, to a, like, zombie or something, and then they can't pick up your sword. Um, but I would, I pretty much have these two interchangeable, like, that is a lot of diamond, though. Um, then you've got... Oh, which one's that? The light which one? I think that's this. Slime steel? Yeah, I think it yeah, that's slime steel. Um Yeah, six damage, which is less than that. And 3200 durability. It's got a bit more durability than the um than that one. I forgot its name already. But it still isn't really that good of an ability, so it keeps it down there. Um and the, the killer jet again is a bit uh, neat, bit of a niche uh, um, tray. It's uh, not really that good. Six attack damage is decent with 3000 durability, durability, not bad though. 
And then you have this one, which is like, e it has 8 attack damage, but it's, uh, it's like durability and smeltery. Yeah, I wouldn't really recommend that much. Like, I mean, if you have... It, like if you have no other option, then it's not the worst thing in the world. But I, there's uh, uh, better guards in this tier that you can use. All right, final row. Here we go. That rhymed. All right, so. The best blade is Manulian Blade, with 2938 durability and 7 attack damage, uh, in, well in this tier, um, plus 7 attack damage. Um, now obviously, like, you, you could probably get it better with like mixing up these other guards, but I honestly don't know the individual stats of each, so this is the best I can do for these right now until they release a proper book explaining like what, you know, all the guards do and all that. Uh, then you have the Neverite Sword, Neverite Blade, which is like, yeah, 6 attack damage, 3,337 durability. Uh, Plunder also gives you looting free, basically, so that's also quite good. Then we've got Clean Queen Slime Sword, yeah, uh, only four, plus 4 attack damage, 3,878 durability, and somehow the... Hep Hepatazian sword is even wet. Wait, oh yeah, it is worse. Just look because of the durability. Yeah, and five attack damage. It's like one more attack damage, but that durability just does not that like that that texture of one point of damage is not going to save your durability, unfortunately. Now looking at the guards. So, yeah, the best guard is the Never Neverite, which gives the sword plus 10 attack damage and a durability of 4,375. Also, apparently I used this at some point to do something, don't know what. Uh, the next one, next best one is, oh, what's, oh yeah, Queen Slime is the Queen Slime Guard gives the sword plus seven attack damage and it uh, bounces all using that is uh, kind of nice. Uh, next up is oh that one I think what's that one called again? Hep a Tizen sword which gives it uh, plus seven attack damage. Yeah floaty yeah floaty which gives it plus seven attack damage. Uh, and 2,625 durability, and a full, man and the worst one is the uh, Manuelian Guard, which only ha which has 2,500 durability with 7 attack damage. So yeah, it's a bit worse than that, and those two. And those two, and the, that one is the best. Yeah, 10 attack damage, plus looting, plus guard, yeah, that's pretty good. But yeah, let me know what you uh, think. Um, if I had to guess, you could probably, um, you could probably, they will probably like um, release a book later on, um, explaining all like the different guards and all that. And my uh, my original plan with this is just to have like the uh, parts instead of the full pickaxes uh, to make it a bit more clear. But uh, you can't really see, you can't really see them for some reason, so uh, I had to uh, ditch that idea and uh, to make it look more visually interesting. I made them all into pickaxes. And at least we get to see a bunch of like different coloured pickaxes and swords. And you think it looks cool? And uh, yeah, so that's your just quick basic guide on uh, what the best like the best pickaxes. That's no, that's pretty solid. I don't think this is gonna change. Um, and again, you can, um, you uh, can, like, mix and match, because again, like, you could take, like, the handle from here and, like, make it up and, like, add it onto, like, something up here or whatever. Uh, and this isn't to, to show you what the best 
whole pickaxes. This is just to show you what the best like individual um, component is from each tier. So you can then use that to, to inform your on what like pickaxe you want to make. And I think this might change up a bit if once they really spoke up, uh, telling me like uh, telling you like what each individual part does because there's because with because a lot of this was like, just like trial like making the swords and it's like okay they that's how it looks so I might this there could have been something I m missed or skipped over uh, because uh, this method probably wasn't perfect so this might change up and again if they do release a book and it does change up uh, my, the this or if they release an update and they nerf or buff something and either one of these then I'll definitely release a video just be like hey quick update this is now better, this is now worse, here's why. And I'll leave a link to that video down in the in the, uh, in the pinned comment. But yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this uh, uh, video. I hope to see you guys in the next one. And bye bye Finally got it done. Without being interrupted again.